Hi Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your future in love for January 8th to January 14th. This is for the sign of Taurus. And if you want, I just did a general reading, I'm going to switch it up. Okay, from now on I'm going to do a mini general and a mini love. This is for the sign of Taurus, January, 4th, January 8th through January 14th. Reversals, hip hip hooray, right? We will focus this camera in. What the hell? Are these all reversed? I was gonna say they better not be. Okay. Well, it looks pretty good actually in this case. It looks like you guys are moving away from deceit. You're moving away from sneakiness. It looks really good actually. You know, there may be a little bit of over emotions here. You may be a little overly emotional, but it feels like there's no secrets, you know, you have completely clear thinking. Um, it feels like you're free. Many of you are single at this time that are watching this. You're single, you're feeling feel, feel, feeling pretty free, independent, no inner conflicts, no conflicts with people. You are recovering from deceit. You've let something go that's really, really good. Um, it's like everything's on the table. There's complete clarity here. There's clarity, and it feels like um, you got. You may feel a little disorganized because there isn't love. You know, you may feel like you're missing. Something's missing. Okay, something is missing, and you're just looking for, you know, the the that that next step to to complete your home, that next step to complete your family, you know, or whatever it is. And I, this is for singles, by the way, I believe. I mean, if it's okay, if you're a couple and you're watching this, I mean, you can apply it however you want, but it feels like you guys have really restored some balance in your life. You've restored some balance. You've worked on healing and, and you're seeing things completely clearly. It's like, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. It really is. It's there's a there's a lack of conflict this week. It's like you you're right where you need to be. You're waiting patiently. You know, you're, it feels like an end of a difficult time of worrying, despair, um, deceit, uh, sneakiness, whatever is over. It's over. You something has left. There's been a completion. There's been a change of, of uh, carrying around something. You know, you've let something go. Something go that's really heavy, and it's freed you. It's brought you about this personal freedom. Okay. There's. It's like there's. There's no, nothing else is hidden. It's like everything is on the table. All right. Um, let's see what else we can get here. Let's clarify. Let's clarify. What about the future? Who's in the future? We want to know. Is, in, is there any future love coming in this month, this week? Is there any love, new love coming in? Any new love coming in? You know, somebody could be returning. All right. Somebody could be returning. Um... And they want to offer you, they want to, they want a second chance. That could certainly be the case. But the thing is, is I feel like you're, you're, you are like, you've let go already. It feels like you may have already let go, you know, let go of this person. If somebody tries to return at this point, you know, you may have been like, you know, it could be a Pisces, could be a Pisces, could be a Sagittarius, could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, could be an Aries as well. But it just feels like, this person, if somebody does try to return, um, you know, they may have left you in limbo. They may have left you in limbo for a period of time and you've already let them go. You've already let them go. So you're like, hey, I've already regained the balance in my life. I'm feeling good. I don't, I'm not sure that I can um, disrupt this harmony that I have right now. Um, it feels like... You know, they might they might come pretty quickly. They might come all of a sudden, decide, make a decision all of a sudden that they're going to contact you. They want to come back, and they might come on hard and strong. 
you know, because they see your loyalty. They see your loyalty. They see your worth now. You're the practical approach. You were giving them, whereas I think in the past, per perhaps they they thought the grass was greener on the other side and the grass wasn't greener on the other side and things were not secure on the other side and stable and you could offer that stability and that security. So somebody could come back and now they're, they're, they're coming after you hardcore and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't think that I can, um, I can do this. I think that you, many of you have already closed that door, okay? So I don't think that new love is coming this week if you are single. I think that, you know, somebody from your past could try to come after you hardcore and you're probably like, you know what? You left me in limbo. I can't do this. You know, I, I brought the balance back. I've done the healing that I that I needed to do. I already let you go. I've already struggled through this. And, and you weren't... Um, you weren't putting in effort. And yeah, the grass was greener on the other side, but what, really, it wasn't? It wasn't? So now you want to come back to me? Are you kidding me? Just because that didn't work out, that wasn't stable, you think you can come back to me now? No. No, I'm not going to lose sleep over this shit anymore. Carry on. Sorry, I'm getting over a cold. <clears throat> Two cards from the Angel Romance deck. It's safe for you to love. And this is part of the issue. This is why you work so hard to heal. You don't want to go backwards. I can't go backwards now. You know, and that's part of the deal. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. That's where you're at. So when this person, if this person comes back into your life, it's like, you know what? I've worked hard. To get here, I'm, I don't think that I can, I can, I can do this again. Playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I believe that's what many of you are going through. You're going through a period of opening up, a period of broadening your horizons, a, a period of wanting to play again. Let's get one of these energy oracle cards and see what comes up. We're looking for love. We're looking for love, please. But it feels like right now you guys are just barely starting to get there. And this person could come in from your past that tries really hard and you're like, huh, sorry, bud. Grass wasn't greener, huh? Oh, boy. That's a good one. That's wish fulfillment, by the way. I'm going to read it, though. Cornucopia. Oh, boy. Wishes fulfilled. An abundant harvest and great blessings are waiting for you. And you may even find all of your wishes fulfilled. This cornucopia of gifts from the universe can come in the form of financial riches, job fulfillment, Romantic love or all of the above. When you receive the cornucopia upright, you know that you've done important work and it's about to pay off. I told you, you have worked hard on yourself and it is about to pay off. It is. It may not be this week. It could be next week. Okay? It could be in a month from now. Okay, but your hard work is about to pay off. Don't go back to someone who doesn't give enough to you, who makes you feel down, who doesn't, um, who does think the grass, who would even leave you in the first place, okay, who makes you feel stuck, who makes you feel trapped, who makes you feel like it's too heavy, makes you feel like you're walking on eggshells, who makes you lose sleep at night, okay, it's safe for you to love, it's safe for you to be happy, anyway, I'm gonna keep reading, <coughs> When you receive the cornucopia upright, you know that you've done important work and it's about to pay off. The seeds you've planted in your energy and in your life are ready to be harvested in some significant ways. Get ready for a great feast of abundant value is being prepared for you now. And spirit is applauding all of your effort. Get ready. Get ready. For a great feast of abundant value is being prepared for you now. Don't go backwards. 
It's not happening this week, but it's in the near future. If you're looking for love, it's coming. Keep doing what you're doing and don't go backwards. This is what I have, Taurus. January 8th through January 14th. You're on the right path. Your wishes are going to be fulfilled. You've done some hard work. Don't give up. Keep doing what you're doing. And when uh, the past shows up, kindly say, sorry, bud. 